Hi, I'm the builder for Team 7983G. In this year's game, Nothing But Net, by far the most popular mechanism for launching the balls is a flywheel. Um, this is essentially just uh, one or two wheels that spin at very high speeds and use this speed to impart energy on the ball and launch it into the net. Um, it's very hard to distinguish the good flywheels from the bad ones just by looking at them because um, the components of the design are all essentially the same. Uh, to build a truly successful flywheel, one must have a basic understanding um, of some of the physics behind a flywheel. Now our builder is going to explain the physics behind a flywheel for all the new teams. By far one of the biggest distinctions between flywheels is their rate of fire, which is just how fast they can shoot balls. A second factor in determining a flywheel's rate of fire is the flywheel's moment of inertia, or resistance to changes in a rotational direction. One way to alter a flywheel's moment of inertia is to alter its mass. The heavier it is, the more it will resist changes in motion. A high moment of inertia means the flywheel will slow down less when it shoots a ball. The trade-off, of course, is that a heavy flywheel will be harder to speed back up as it resists changes in motion. Therefore, one must experiment to find the perfect balance between torque, as I mentioned earlier, and moment of inertia to optimize rate of fire. When a ball is fired, the flywheel has to impart its energy on the ball to launch it. When this happens, the flywheel has to slow down because it gives some of its energy to the ball. Uh, the rate of fire depends on how fast the flywheel can get back up to its original speed to have enough speed to then launch another ball. Uh, one of the factors that determine how quickly the flywheel can get back up to its original speed is the torque of the flywheel. And this is dependent almost entirely upon its gear ratio. Generally, the lower the gear ratio, the more torque a flywheel will have to get back up to speed. But the trick is maintaining a gear ratio that will still be fast enough to launch the ball. One final note is that even if torque and moment of inertia are optimized, rate of fire is still heavily dependent upon overall build quality or reducing friction as much as possible.